Hi, welcome to Cooking Pine. This is a show where a friend of mine and I will try to make a specific dish but with a catch. My friend who is cooking alongside with me will have no idea what we're making. So it is up to me to try my best to remember the recipe as much as I can. And today, we're making dumplings, especially for Chinese New Year. The person who is teaching me this recipe is Alex. So let's give her a warm welcome. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Sean's friend. And today, I'll be teaching my grandma's recipe on how to make dumplings. This is your grandmother's recipe? Yeah. I've only ever tried making it, but I've never fried it. Have you tried folding dumplings before? I have. You have? And it's really difficult. It's very difficult. If it doesn't look nice, it's not as presentable. You're gonna also judge us based on the presentation, is that right? Definitely. So this recipe usually use pork, but today we're gonna make it more friendly for everyone. So we'll be using chicken. Love so that. what you're gonna have is chicken, shrimp, soy sauce, sesame oil, sugar, and corn flour, and also most importantly the wonton wrappers. What you're gonna do first is mince the chicken and the shrimp into really small pieces. And what my grandma likes to do is actually kind of use the end of a blade and flatten it against the chopping board. In a bowl, you will add soy sauce sesame oil, sugar, and a little bit of corn flour. Yeah. So what does the corn flour do? So the corn flour actually makes the meat texture very crunchy. Oh. So when you deep fry it, not only is the outside crunchy, the interior has its own crunchiness as well because you are missing a lot of fat from the chicken. So usually the ratio is best one to one. One to one. So it's even. So either way, you can use a different amount. How about the soy sauce, the sesame oil? Let's talk about the, the quantities. Is it one tablespoon? Is it one teaspoon? So I think depending on how much you're actually using, you're going to be, uh, as what my grandma always says, aga aga. Very that. classic. I love that. So what you gotta get is a wonton wrapper and you put it in your palm. And then because we're beginners, we we'll usually use about like half a teaspoon or one half teaspoon, teaspoon. Okay. and put it in the center. Alright. So what my grandma likes to do is put it the filling in the center okay. and kind of squeeze it a bit first before squeeze she starts it. folding it in. Oh, okay. So the best way I can describe it is imagine this is a wonton wrapper, the meat in the center. You squeeze it like this a bit, just squeeze it gently and then you pinch the edges together. So after that, while you're folding, it's best for you to heat up the oil while you're at it so that you don't have to wait so long. Oh, okay. So you can you. make a lot of uh, at the side and let the oil heat up and then just start frying it until it's golden brown. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. And Alex and a few other friends as well will be back on camera later at the end to judge Alan and my work. Thank you so much Alex for joining me in the intro. No Let's head to the kitchen to cook the dumplings. Let's go! Hey everyone, we are in the kitchen. This is Cooking Blind, so I, I'm gonna have a friend beside me cooking along. This guy! It's <laughs> Vance. To anyone who is watching, yes. who is seeing you for the first time on the channel or anywhere on the internet, introduce yourself. Vance, also known as... <laughs> also known as Vance on Lens. I'm a photographer. So how much do you charge? No, I don't actually. Oh, so he doesn't I'm not, I'm not. No, 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 no. If charging next time, uh, next time. The first question I want to ask you is: Have you have you cooked before? Yes. Steak. You made steak before. Yes. What what type of steak? Steak lah. <laughs> so that means you're actually quite well versed in the kitchen, uh, You can say. Mm. From one to ten, you made yourself. Two. And you've made steak before. <laughs> it's not going much. You can see the ingredients over here. Do you know what? Do you know what this is? Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna make a type of dumpling. But I'm not going to tell you what type of dumpling yep. we're making. Yep. First thing we have to do is we have, we have shrimp and chicken. Right. So first thing I have to do is we have to, we have to mince them. So we have to chop them up. So which one are you going to do? I'll let you choose. I'll do the chicken. You do the chicken, okay. Because the chicken is easier, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Recommendation, right? You can use the flat part of the knife to press yeah, it down, to down. mince it. This is disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. The whole kitchen smells like shrimp, you know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I won't be surprised, right, if the the filling has like a little bit of corn shells in there. What's your favorite thing to eat during Chinese New Year? Avalon would, would be nice. Wow, oh, yeah. wow, fancy. Oh, yeah. Once you're done with that, you can transfer it to this bowl, and we can. Make some stuff in. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. To the viewers who are watching at home, right? Let us know if, if Vance did a good job of mincing the, the, the chicken or not. Yes, I almost yes, said yes. mincing the kitchen, you know. Yeah, nice. The ratio actually should be one to one. Chicken and prawn one to this one. Looks like but two to one. Yeah, this looks like two to one. But fine, ah, yeah. aga aga, aga aga. Second okay. episode, low budget. 
Okay, why don't you put the soy sauce first? We don't, we don't actually have a, a legit measurement for all of this, so we're just gonna aga aga lah. Just okay. kill the gas. Like we, we, we know. <laughs> How much do you think? Half one, one, one teaspoon lah. Half one teaspoon lah. Half one full spoon. <laughs> Since you have one clean hand, why don't you do the pepper? As much pepper as you want. That's not so, much. Maybe add a little bit more. Alright. Are you happy with that? Yeah. The last thing we're gonna add is sugar. Oh, actually we need cornstarch as well. <laughs> so for cornstarch, we need a teaspoon to a, quart, a half teaspoon to one teaspoon, if I can remember correctly. And sugar, I'm also gonna add roughly the same amount, like just a little bit. This is disgusting, yo. This can be an ASMR episode, you know. It smells nice, lah. Uh, what? Yeah, it actually smells Which nice. Which one is it, lah? The sesame oil, is it? I think it's the sesame oil. Can you drink a little bit? <laughs> the mixture is done. Yeah, it smells really good. The, the general rule is, if it smells good, it tastes good. We're gonna use the wonton wrappers to wrap that feeling. First thing we have to do, before we wrap anything, we have to heat up the oil first. Alright, that goes in the middle. I've never done this before. Wrap the sides like this, and we have to scrunch it. Scrunch it up like that. Who taught you this? Huh? Alex taught me to like make sure it's it's very like sealed at the top like that. This is nice. That may not be the prettiest one that I'm doing. How about you wash your hands? You can wrap them, I can scoop them for you. Now it's Ben's turn to wrap the wontons. One pawn. One pawns, dumplings. <laughs> okay. Is it like this? Yep. I'll make sure the sides are all wet. Bro, my mom is gonna be proud you know, if you see this video. Not bad, huh? Yeah, look at I don't that. Know look what at this, but it works out. <laughs> we made two right. already? I don't want to go. Oh, meat is getting budget cut, is it? Each one, time, right? It's less, lesser That's and true. lesser feeling. How hard do you think it, it is from a scale of 1 to 10 to wrap dumb things? 3. But the loop is not there, like, compared yeah. to the iPhone. Hey, where's my uncle, boss? Because this is a Chinese New Year episode, right? Tell the audience one one Chinese idiom that you know. Chinese New Year yeah. wishes. Or, or Chinese New Year idiom wishes, any, anything you know. I only know this. I remember from high school. I cannot punish by the teacher because of Q&A session. I, and then I don't know this answer for the question, right? So the answer of it is zi wei zi zi, pu zi wei pu zi, si zi ye. It means if you don't know something, you better ask. Like, like you know something and, and then you can do it. What the hell is this? How many have we made already? Six. Five. The both of us have completed. The both of us. The both of us. The both of us. And no one else. <laughs> one to ten. Give a rating. I would say 9.5. 9.5. Oh, as a beginner, high, yes. Huh? As, as a beginner. beginner as a beginner, 9.5. So as an expert. I mean, two, uh, what is this? I purposely put it at the back. The oil is already has been heating up for quite a while very already, hot. actually. It's, it's very hot. It's 456.5. Let, let me get a spider first. Get a spider. Okay. I think we did a good job. High five. Now build is over there. How's how's looking up? What's the best point you had? If the viewers want to go and you know makan point, right? Where would you where would you recommend? Any places that the chef smoke doing when when he's cooking is the best. Any places. Why? Oh no, the kick, the nicotine kick. <laughs> Travis over there agrees. So before your order, right, you just you go into the kitchen. You just take ask a look. if does your chef smoke. He doesn't smoke. Right, smoke what? Smoke what? Cigarette. <laughs> smoke weed. <movie. laughs> <laughs> the bottom part down here should look like this. Pay attention, guys. Vance is teaching all of us how to make. See here, this how right. to make one time. Do you think they're gonna taste okay? Oh no, chef. Going with the flow. This is what we do every time over here, I in, in cooking blind. Are the one times done? Yes. Yeah. According to Vance. The one time should be done already. Should be done. Should be done. Yeah. They look amazing, you know. Vance did the cooking for this, you know, guys. It's quite a simple recipe. So if any of you want to replicate what we've made today, the recipe will be down in the description. It's either gonna be a link or we'll just copy and paste the whole recipe down there. The so both of us are going to clean up a little bit. Once the dumplings are cool already, Cool, Let's like place it in the, in the freezer. Freezer! Yeah, yeah. then deep fry it again. <laughs> you want to burn down the house, is it? And once they are cool to eat, the, we'll invite the judges in and they will judge our performance and yes. our product over here. So, we'll be back very soon, okay? Let's, let's clean up first. Magic. It's cool to the touch already. It's cool enough to eat already. Uh, let's give Alex a warm welcome. So from the looks of it, what, what do you have to say about the presentation? 
I think visually it looks really good. Uh, it oh. looks like something from a restaurant actually. <sighs> Quite good. Very nice color. And then it looks very crispy. So do I go in and taste now? Yeah, go ahead, okay. go ahead. Let's cheers. cheers. Right, happy Chinese New Year. <laughs> you are about to eat, is it? What do you think, Vance? It's a bit dry. Because maybe because we use chicken. Yeah. Right? I think it's chicken, that's why. Mm. But taste wise, it's really good. Sean, do you have chili sauce? Presentation and taste wise, 10 out of 10. Wow, 10 out of 10. Is there anything that we can change? We can change about this if you were to recommend something to improve on? I think, if anything, we could add either carrot, carrot. or scallion. Like a scallion. vegetable inside would be a bit more fresher. Unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately I don't have scallion. So okay. If somebody sponsors us, then we'll ask Galleon. Thank you so much, Alex, for being the first judge, the, the judge of honors for today. To any of you who are watching at home, right, we, you guys can experiment with different different proteins. Oh yeah, the one, shrimp, one, one. we should use um, bigger, shrimp. bigger shrimp. So one one one. Yeah, don't don't be like us. Don't don't use don't, don't use cheap shrimp. Ten out of eight. Visually it looks really good. And Alex gave us ten, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna give this a rating about 9.5 since Vance did it first time and Sean also. I'm very unbiased to food because I eat to live and I don't live to eat. Starting off with a quote, I love that. Presentation wise, solid 5 out of 7. I'm Theo and I wrote a crocodile here. Just some East Malaysian humor for you. <laughs> Chopsy can go with it. Since you guys not using Chopsy. It looks crispy. But does it feel crispy? See how crispy that is? <laughs> yeah. Really nice. It's a bit dry though, but yeah. It feels a bit dry lah, but trust me, I think it, um, with pork it'll be better because the natural juices. It was not dry. Not dry. This one is not dry. Okay. This really guy good. only one piece just now before before the shoot. He said it was trash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now doing the shoot, he said it's good. It's minced very well together. I think the shrimp stands out a little bit. The shrimp really stands out in in this. Surprisingly, it's really good. I never expect chicken and prawn so to mix. He said together. surprisingly. That means he expected worse lah. Quite crunchy lah. So I'll give it nine out of ten. It's better than most of the other shops I've gone to. I think it's a pretty good job for for first timer like Ellen. You know Ellen has made yeah. steak before, right? If you were to Lessen the meat and let the skin like flare out even more so you have a more crunchy skin. That might that might also just add to the eating experience. I would like to go for a third piece. <laughs> <laughs> I okay without the soy sauce. Soy sauce? Or without soy sauce? Without. I'm a natural man. <laughs> oh wow, wow. That that means that, that means we did a good job, huh? Bye guys. <laughs> that has been Cooking Blind episode 2. Dumpling edition. Thank you so much for being here, Vance. We I had a pleasure, really pleasure. great time cooking with you and having fun. <laughs> it was a really chaotic day. Let us know in the comments how, how you guys think the both of us did on the, on the dumplings. If you want the roses, go ahead. The both of us are also learning along the way. Yeah, the, so even the judges didn't give roses, you know. Yeah, the, the judges were really nice, right? To wrap it up, what do you want to say to the audience? Gong Hei Fa Choi. Gong Hei Fa Choi, give us another one. May 2021, be the mm -hmm. best year. 2021. Be no, 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 not the best. La. Better than 2020. Better than 2020. Yes. Nen Nen Yui. Yeah, where's, where's my Hong Pao? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Luckily, and we didn't burn down the house. Yeah, that, that was very fortunate. I was expecting to burn down the house. Really? Right. Yeah. yeah. Wow, then, then we got really lucky lah. If you enjoyed this episode of Cooking Blind and if you enjoyed having, uh, you know, me having having Alan beside me cooking, make sure you like the video and go follow Alan's socials. All the links will be down in the description. If you enjoy watching these type of videos on the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Hopefully, I'll get to invite Vance for another episode. As a judge, maybe. No? Yeah, maybe he can be a judge. 2021, the year of the bull. Happy Chinese New Year to all of you who are celebrating at home. And yeah, the both of us wish all of Since you. We are the bull. We'll make stick afterwards. Make sure you share this video to everyone you know. Okay, make sure all of your family members watch it during Chinese New Year, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.